Dr. Jang's Play Math. Hello, my Play Math friends. It's Dr. Jang. I'm so glad you came to see me. Today, I'm going to tell the story of two mice teeter tottering on a stick. Slowly, more animals joined the party, throwing everything off balance. Are you curious about what happened? Don't forget to watch all the way through because when I finish the book, fun after reading activity will follow. Are you ready for a story? Balancing Act. By Ellen Stoll Walsh. The mice made a teeter totter. It was fun to balance. One mouse on each end. Tada! But then a salamander wanted a turn. Hmm. Luckily, a friend stepped in to help. Perfect. Balance again. Uh oh, a frog. Whoa. But then another frog. Ah, balance once more. Oh no, a bird wants to balance. Whoops, that's not going to work. Or maybe it will. Tada! But not for long. Too many balancers. Time for everyone to find something else to do. Except the mice. Ta-da! The end. Now it's time for an after reading activity. Make your balance balanced. To do this activity, you'll need a double pen balance, a tray, everyday objects such as toy cars, figurines, etc. First, find random items around the house and put them on a tray. Ask kids to select two objects and place them in the pens, and then compare the weight. Point out that the heavier pen drops while the lighter one rises. When kids compare the weight, encourage them to use the following sentences: A is heavier than B. B is lighter than A. When kids understand the concept of heavier and lighter, introduce the concept of balance by putting objects in the pens one by one until the two pens are balanced against each other. Help kids understand when each pen contains exactly the same weight, the beam is in balance, and the balance pointer is in the middle. Thank you for watching Play Math. To read more math picture books and do after reading activities, subscribe to this channel. See you next time.